going to come live with Nordic versus a Nexus now, which is the... I'll let me do the talking for what stage of the uh, tournament is that? It's, at. Uh, it's actually the winner bracket semi-final. The winner of this goes through to the winner bracket final, guarantees himself top three, and uh, goes up against Next Evo, who uh, took out... Oh, yeah, they, they just beat, beat Dignitas 4-0, Dignitas, which is uh, probably the biggest upset as such from this tournament so far. And now we're going to see the NX side start off on the uh, on the Bremen defense and such, and uh, higher opening things up with a double MP40. Make that three frags for higher with a really, really great Luger frag to finish things off as well. Probably going to self kill, which he does. And then the NX side respawn and set up another defensive uh, defensive position now. 14 minutes 24, and with the uh, the Nordic side reaching this stage of the final, means uh, I don't think anybody, at least from who I've spoken to, I don't think anybody has actually uh, actually suspected this at all. You know, I don't think any any of them expected Nordic to get this far whatsoever, especially after the first game that they played in the group stages. Yeah, they're playing really really well. Um, I think if they keep focus, keep the ambition going, they could they could take this. Like a Nexus are going to be a little bit complacent after like uh, they feel I think they felt quite comfortable against Winfact so and uh, I feel that they might be struggling a little bit because Bremen especially Bremen is a map in five and five that you can't full hold really yeah a full, a full hold is very rare so well it's just actually Nordic's choice of map as we can see them just taking the flag now Zylos and Hyatt trying their best to keep the flag but the others are going to respawn so are the Axis and the Axis have just managed to get away with that by respawning at the flag after the Allied side re well they actually stole the flag originally and then the Axis side Still managed to steal flag. it at the last second and <laughs> A <laughs> bit of confusion there from the uh, from the Nexus side. I don't think they uh, maybe they forgot what colour their flag was and uh, Hang on a oh minute. that was massive. I don't know I don't know who's done this, but somebody from the Nordic side has actually managed to reclaim the flag again after a, after a series of uh, captures and retakes. The uh, Allied side from Nordic have actually uh, actually managed to keep that flag spawn in total. So uh, oh really great stuff there from Grim. Probably one of the more underrated. Uh, players at, you know at this event especially for the Nordic side I think quite a lot of people are uh, definitely underrating this player Grim. Do you, have you ever really thought about Grim as a, a top player or not? I think he's um, I've never really played with him actually but whenever I do play against him he's always he's consistent that's like my main the main word I'd use to describe yeah, true. him. Like, I've, I, he never, I've never seen him do like really really over the top amazing things but when he plays he's just consistent and knows what he's doing. Exactly, as we're uh, going to go in eyes on him now after bigging him up a slight bit. He's going to get one frag. Mouse is going to get another along with Hyatt. Revives coming in from Grim left, right, and center as he gets pushed forward by his teammate, which is a nice little this revive chain they've got going on here. Ross and Squish attack, trying yeah. their best to stop him, and I think Mouse is finally going to get the frags and the Gibbs to go with it as well. Lazio finishes off Squish at that CP. So the Nordic side, even though they started that rush with five, have now only got three left at that CP. They've got no covert ops. They've got a rifle nader and two medics left in the uh, left in that CP zone. Higher pushing forward to try and catch Lazio off guard. Stonish with the Thompson frag on Ozilos as well. And uh, I think the Nordic side are going to probably lose control of this CP area. Squish pushes into that CP, takes down Grim, and now the uh, the covert ops is going to push over the top of the uh, of the balcony now to try and regain that CP area. Cresty's going to get the revive onto him, who was actually probably one of the main uh, the main parts of that revive train that we saw going across the bridge oh, that earlier. Was and that is play. brilliant stuff there Cresty. from Lightning and uh, Cresty. Cresty and Lightning, yeah, definitely. Lightning, actually one of the players that Spot 16 dropped just before the event. They replaced it with Floppier, who uh, at the time seemed to be a pretty uh, a pretty good choice to uh, replace the uh, the Dutch rifle with. Well, Do you think it was a really good decision? I thought it was. I think I think uh, Floppy was a really great player. To be honest, I think he played quite well. <laughs> I don't really think it was. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Floppy's performance, but uh, it probably wasn't the best decision to move Lining. I guess. There you go from the uh, horse's mouth. Mies yeah. definitely but down. It wasn't, and it out. wasn't my idea, so <laughs> blaming it. He's going kind to of blame it on Toxic. It's a it's a safe bet. Hey, Toxic. Toxic, Toxic is a good clan killer. Toxic backstab central. <laughs> Toxic clan killer master. The Stone Age dives into front of the into the front of the rifle grenade's face. There manages to come out on top as the rest of the NX side self kill. Stone is checking every little corner he can find. 
to make sure there are no more access plays lurking around like we saw at the start. Oh, oh. great shot there from Stone is getting three headshots up on the squeeze. Revive coming in from Grim yet again. And Stone is going to just get the revive off onto him before Cresty goes back down to Mouse's MP40. Stone is really stunning aiming, aiming here from uh, from the German. He's going to get another headshot up on the J before he manages to get taken down. And only Grim. because he ran out of ammo. Indeed, it was. Uh, he, he should have been a bit more... Uh, not so much smart, but he possibly should have whipped out the pistol instead with uh, eight bullets instead of four for the SMG. But nevertheless, Nordic sides still need to regain this CP area again. They've uh, had a lot of constant pressure in uh, random parts of the map so far, but they haven't seen to really... I mean, the, well, the, the, the biggest control point that they got is such with the CP with three players, but they didn't have the right classes, you know, to actually finish off yeah, yeah. getting full control of that spawn point to then move on to the next objective. Maybe they should... Do you think it's a oh, great rifle grenade there from Zylos actually onto Lightning, which is the Cobra Ops? Do you think they should possibly switch objectives, try and go, instead of going for the CP all the time, go well, for possibly an attack on the keycard straight away or not? That definitely wasn't the spawn time to do it, like, uh, they'd have just got cut down if they went, if they tried to go through mana to the uh, objective. But uh, they could give it a go on a better spawn time, maybe. Um, what, do you th what, what do you think is like the best uh, actual spawn time to push on, by the way, to um, try and go for that keycard? For keycard, it wants to be like near their spawn, like you want to be... Because often the guys with the keycard just like like to self kill. So yeah. If you can push and get like a gib or two when they're getting back in position, yeah. then that can like really oh. get you through. And they're gonna that's what they're gonna try and do now, but it's not gonna work. So Miles and Xylos picking up mega frags there and they're shutting it completely down. As Xylos pushing in to add insult to injury and just running all the way into Mana House, playing really aggressively. Mouse finishing things off with the Luger as well. And uh, the next side, as you said, will self-kill. And they are the two people, I think, that are actually playing around that keycard area, Xylos and Mouse. But kind of the key elements to this crossfire that they've got going on at this second stage of, uh, of Bremen B3. I don't think Nordic need to change much. I think if, like, uh, if they just keep doing what they've been doing, like, sh they've been showing like amazing team play and like amazing reviving. As they've got going on here again on the bridge, Ross, Mouse, and Hyatt all picking up frags apiece. Xylus with the double grenade they there to probably finish things they off. They can't get the Gibbs. Like, they're still going now. I can't believe they're still going. Mouse with another grenade there, Sten from Lightning. But I, mean, I don't like, think Lightning's yeah. going to stay up for too much longer as Hyatt Lugas him down. Grim self kills. And again, like you've been saying, they're not getting the Gibbs, the uh, the NX side. They're not getting the Gibbs because they're shooting from that lower position down, you know, underneath the uh, underneath the bridge, which is where the Mouse and Zyros are getting all the frags from. Yeah, Nordic, you just... And Nordic are just freely reviving. reviving everything. Yeah, exactly. It's... I don't know. I, I think if they just stick <laughs> at it and, like, keep the pressure up, they'll uh, get this phase. But it's, I think when they fail an attack, they get sort of, like, a bit scared. I think, oh, we should change something. And uh, I don't think that, I don't really think they need to change anything at all at the moment. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's definitely one thing that you don't need to change, and that's Stonish's aim, because he is absolutely flattening anything that he comes across, unless it's something in the back or something under the name of Mouse. And he just seems to be on fire today. Is Lazio probably one of the better rifles in the game? Moves across the top of the courtyard. I'm going to have to disagree with you there, Ozo. Why are you going to disagree with me there, Moose? Uh, I don't think Lazio is one of the best rifles in the game. Uh, he, I think he's, he's top notch. Good, he's a good player, but uh, I'm not sure if he can compete with the likes of Xylos and Riadro just yet. I reckon uh, Lazio's the top bomb. <laughs> top dollar. Well, I agree like to disagree, mate. <laughs> As we now see the Axis try and make an assault back onto the CP, they get on the Gibbs here as well now. Xylos self kills. And again, Nordic, who managed to get control of the CP area for a couple of seconds, have just lost it within the same amount of time because they've only got two or three people there and they haven't got, again, at the right classes, in the right positions. Revives coming in from, like crazy here from the Nordic side. Grenade struck down from Lazio. <coughs> and I think the Nordic side are going to respawn and push back through this lower key card exit again. Lightning and Cresty getting a couple of frags here on the Nexus side. Cresty goes down to squish his grenade. Who's going to get a double frag there? Actually, Revive's going to come in from Stone Age. Xylos kills out, and I think they've got enough players dead and out for the count just for now to get into that CP, as they're going to do now. Cresty diving up the backstage. Grenade chucked in from his teammate, who uh, allows him to pack up. Cresty gets the needle out. Squiz and Zyloth getting an MP40 frag each there onto the Nordic side. As Cresty finds one completely out of position, which is Squiz. Higher. Pushing in the main gate now. The main doorway now, sorry. Along with Ross. Higher. Managing to get the frags though. Lazio self kills. And again, Nordic got five players in there, but they didn't have the right player there to finish off the objective. And uh, 
the Annexa side seem to say as soon as they see them all flying to the CP, they all swarm around every single exit and they shut off this attack straight away. Okay, I think I'm going to take back what I said earlier and say they don't need to change anything. We need more frags, like, they're, uh, they're getting the revives, sure, that's that's absolutely perfect. They're playing really well, the medics are doing really well, but they need to actually get some kills because you can only revive for so long, eventually you're going to run out of you're gonna run out of syringes, you're just gonna get taken down. And uh Indeed. Normally you, you need to revive and then get the kills, and that's not what's happening. They're just getting revived and then keeping that's all they're doing with the revive is more revives. Indeed, I mean uh it happens quite a lot when uh, I'm playing with well, I say not so good not so good players, you know, when I'm playing with anybody really and we just decide to go for the revive chain and if you don't have the other player, you know, who's not who's like for example, if you don't have the front men shooting there's no point in having the needles out at all because if the other, if the uh, the enemy, especially on defense, if you're running into people, especially when they're playing with a field up, they they practically got unlimited ammo in effect, haven't they? You know, where they, where they could just chuck an ammo pack down, reload the gun, and they just straight back into the action there. But they finally do get control of that command post respawn area, which is uh, giving them uh, a bit of time to get the rest of the map done. But I don't think they're going to be able to do it, not with the key card still not being stolen. Barrier not being built, not being uh, destructed, sorry, even though they do get the dynamite Both down. Both those things are going to happen here. now, though. Keycard stolen, barrier planted, and I don't see any opposition from uh, a Nexus. I think they're going to be a bit more defensive like we saw them do earlier, where they're going to fly back to the truck. Yes, they are. And uh, can have a quick, have a quick peek at Xylos now, because he's going to be the man doing all the damage here as he pings one wife a grenade off on the line and gets a headshot on the Stonehenge but Stonehenge actually gets the frag yet again Higher stops him from getting gibbed not going to go for the revive yet because he's on short spawn Ross with a double MP40 frag there as well and he an exercise respawn as Heroin looks to steal my headset and he's not going to do it and Winfact have lost the first map against G2P which uh, well, <laughs> I can't believe at all to be completely honest with you they full held when fact on supply. Well, this is what this is what we've heard from uh, heard, heard this is what we've heard from somebody else who's heard from somebody else. So hopefully we're giving you correct information because uh, an exit at the moment looking absolutely dominant in this match against uh, <coughs> sorry against Nordic Esports here. There, Zylos getting the game onto his opposite rifle nader Lazio and also getting the frag off under Grim with the Luger. The Italian Stallion really going wild at this stage of the uh, at this stage of the map. As somebody rushes into the spawn, there it is Cresty, and he is an engineer, but he's going to get picked off by Mouse's MP40. Squish with the Luger. Ross is going to be the man to get the frag, though. The self kills coming in from the Annexa side as well, and uh, they get to reset up again for this main rush. Zylos, double rifle grenade there from the Italian. Jay with a Thompson frag as well, and Mouse picks he's off the fifth. Last. Yeah. It's and that's uh, going to give them a good 10 seconds or so to just get into position and get whatever they need. Supplies, for example. <laughs> Food, like <beer>. ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Set up camp, get their tents up. <laughs> yeah. And they've... Uh, oh, headshot rifle there from Zylos. Really great stuff. As we see it push through the spawn now from the Allied side. One minute coming down the main. He's going to get dealt with by Zylos. Mouse with an MP40 there on the Cressy as we see the, re the remaining Nordic players self-kill. This could well be a full hold. See, As you said, yeah, I may have indeed. said it's. I have to it's eat, not, not I'm a map, my words a lot not, today. not a map you would expect to see a full hold on, as you said, but it looks like we're going to probably see one. I mean, the truck hasn't been touched just yet, and they haven't realistically got close. I mean, this is the closest they've got to actually building the truck. As uh, Squiz, and obviously, as we say that, the engineer is going to come. Cl oh <laughs> dear, who was that? Uh, that was. Ross, Ross, Ross absolutely <laughs> diabolical there from Ross, shooting the Panzer and his teammates spawn, but oh, one pop there from Squiz though with the Luger, really great stuff there. The one dig. The one dig. <laughs> the one dig. The one Luger. The one Lug. The one Lug. <laughs> Is that a new term now? New terminology Ice for Luke. the one pop? This is over now, unfortunately. This it looks like uh, Nordic have been full held by a Nexus. I think it's what we definitely were expecting. Oh, squeeze with the headshots. G with a double frag as well. And they're just going to completely finish off this attack, aren't they, with the uh, the remaining frags that you're going to see pop up in the console. So, Mies, can you see Nordic? Uh, can you see Nordic full holding a Nexus now after uh, no. a pretty pretty good start? But then uh, it turned out to it. be a pretty poor second stage for them. I don't see it at all. Uh, I think if Nordic wants to. 
go through to the Wind Rocket final, they have to rely on the next map. I don't think Bremen is going to go their way. Indeed. The next map is going to be Goldrush, by the way, which is uh, an Exus' choice of map. So, <laughs> with it, with them losing their own map, is such in the. Uh, where they're losing, where they've lost their actual map that they picked for the um, for this round. I cannot actually see them uh, picking up the Nexus's map, which is Gold Rush, because the Nexus are pretty good on Gold Rush. I don't know if you saw the, uh, uh, I don't know if you saw the Nexus versus Nevo game online for the uh, first spot qualifier no, or I first know. first spot seed. Sorry, but uh, a Nexus was sick. They were unbelievable. On Gold Rush. Yes. They have. Uh, they actually have this new defense, which um, I guess is something to talk about. Uh, they play like... I don't really know how they all. They all go in the bank, like but a really old-fashioned kind not, of defense. But it's kind of that, but it's not as well, because they go Two behind, people at the back of third, behind and it, two in the bank. Two in the bank. And then, and then they kind of pincer. Yeah, and then like by the time you've like actually managed to get past them at the back, they'll usually just do a first push and... If they do that well, then they just set up again, and you're screwed. <coughs> Why do you do that? Because he knows I got the showcast. <laughs> Gotta add the smiley. I love that smiley. <laughs> the best smiley. It's a beast but smiley. But yeah, the... Um it depends how much Nordy you've had to prac because I think that Nexus defense, when you first come up against it, it's like a shock and you like you don't really know what to do. But yeah. after a few games against it, you sort of learn what you need to do. Exactly. I mean, I was talking to Squiz. Uh, I was talking to Squiz about their uh, backstage defense, their, their bank defense, you know. And um, Squiz, thanks for that. <laughs> and uh, Squiz seems to think you know he agreed with me where I said that you know surely all you have to do realistically chuck one rifle grenade in, kill the people at the back of the third action, even you know even if you can't pick the guys off in the inside with like a, a rifle grenade, just take Panzer. I yeah, mean, yeah. there's only one guy at the second arch. Here with You've practically got nobody to stop them in the uh, in the uh, courtyard, you know. And Nexus. Nordic have just uh, held off off the uh, the first rush of the uh, the second round. I think of, of, Brush of is a very generous bird there for uh, a Nexus. It was more like stand around and get uh, back raped <laughs> by Cresty. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good definition of the uh, Nexus rush. As Cresty gets another three headshot frag on the Zylos and make oh, that five headshots the there. Mouse. mouse has gone down. And oh dear me, Cresty showing him who's boss. One minute off the time there. A Nordic self kill. And uh, they're playing with five medics. Is this a uh, is this a common strategy nowadays, Mix? Five medics? It actually is on a uh, Raymond first stage. Uh, there's not really much you can do with a four part. A rifle can't really do anything, and a fop is maybe useful for like the first push. But apart from that, you just want the revives. Yeah, and you and, want uh, the HP. The NX side have actually managed to take control of this flag spawn area. Squeeze of the double. Three kills going in from the NX side, all practically at the same time. High again in the third day. And uh, I don't know if the NX side are going to get a uniform. I don't think they're going to be able to. I don't think they've got enough time. As uh, Mouse is going to take his trusty sniper rifle, I imagine. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I don't get why Mouse is playing covert. Because, watch this. No. Are you ready for this? He just doesn't. He just makes. Are you like ready for this? He's gonna hit it. Oh, never mind. He's not gonna. Okay, yes, he is gonna take one down. Higher with it. Oh, lightning with a double grenade frag there. Lazio finishing off Mouse. Xylos with the Garan frag, and I think that the uh, the double grenade might have stopped them in the tracks, but the objectives have been taken by the Nexus side. That's why Mouse has taken the Garan because he just seems to kill everything in sight. Lightning with the MP40 on the Mouse, finishing him off. Not sure Ooh. where the documents have actually got to. If they are still in the uh, hands of the NX side, they are with Ross. But the, are we going to ban Ross from duck running? Like we've had to ban Mies here from duck running very, very many hey, times. I don't even have any more duck runs to attempt, so. <laughs> That's a good thing. Cresty there going to take down Ross, but it's not going to be enough because Squid's going to come in the revive and Jay's going to run the documents home anyway. And it looks this like. This is a terrible start for the Nordic side. They need to pull something out the bag if they want any realistic chance of holding on to the. Uh, Full hold, but nah, like we said, it's not going to happen realistically, realistically, is it? Realistically, the, the phase <laughs> you get over time on this map is the CP phase. Like, when we played Bremen, like, in SMB, we were by far like the best team on Bremen, and we had like the CP stage down to a T. There was like not really much time spent on the other stages. It was just if you get like a 10 minute hold on the CP, you can full hold the map. Yeah, no, indeed, I remember. I don't think you can full hold the map for 12 minutes of a truck. It's just. 
Indeed, I remember it. In my opinion, when the uh, when the map first came out, when it was at, I think it was at CBC Two was the first time it was out. I think, mm. or either way, around that time, uh, I think the CP stage has always been the major key. There is a uh, higher gets two Thompson frags there. Cresty tries to chime back with another one, but Mouse is going to stop him dead in his tracks. Stones with the grenade there as well as Lazio waits for Xylos to pick a rifle grenade under his feet and I think the NX side are probably going to take control of this truck because Xylos gets another Grand Frag there. Oh my god, Stone Age. Saving the day for the Nordic side there though, getting a nice couple of frags there for them. Uh, they're at this truck stage, but Hai is going to come in through at that open doorway. Squeeze with the team kill. Lightning with a double Luger frag and Nordic somehow managed to hold on by the skin of their teeth again as the uh, Allied side tried to make a push for the truck. Yeah, they're showing, they're still showing like great team play they had on attack, but for some reason it's just not, they're not doing enough. They're making like one mistake, like he, one, one player seems to be making like one mistake all the time, and it's just like a full spawn there by Lazio. And, Who actually uh, got a double rifle grenade before that as well, so he's uh, practically thrown that double rifle grenade away by taking a full spawn. So we see the uh, next side rush down this main road now. Stone and MP40. Chris is going to have a bit of a lean fest here and probably take down higher. Yes, he does. He's now on full spawn. If he dies, he's going to not respawn oh, for another Christy, 30 seconds. Goodbye, Cresty. Double rifle grenade there from Lazio as well, but the ally side have managed to steal the truck. That's exactly what they were looking for, depending on uh, whether or not sorry, they uh, took any full spawns. They managed to get the truck and it's out of the garage doors. Mouse goes down to Stone and MP40, who has probably been. One of the better players on the uh, Nordic side, especially yeah. today. He's been absolutely brilliant. Whenever we've seen him, he's been like, just, I don't know, tearing people apart. And Indeed. I didn't really expect that. But Indeed. Well, I mean, I've only seen him a couple of times. And I mean, he's actually one of those really nice guys from the uh, old Speedlink team. Yeah. He's a, yeah, he's a pretty nice guy to have a chat with in real life as well. He just randomly comes up to you and says hello. Just a bit of a lad, really. <laughs> but uh, with... Nine minutes left on the board. I don't think uh, it's going to be too easy for this Nordic side now, is it, realistically? Nine minutes, 40 seconds left. Cresty and Stone is doing a lot of damage. Stone is getting the frags, but he's going to go down eventually to Highest Thompson as Felix comes over to join us. How are you doing, Felix? Felix is very happy today because uh, Nevo have been absolutely dominant. Cresty with a nice revive there onto Lazio. Are they going to get the build on this barrier? They're going to keep players on it and they're going to construct the barrier. That's going to buy him a lot of time there. Mouse with a the frag there. Ross with the pistol. And uh, they've somehow managed to buy themselves another 30 seconds. And uh, with that in mind, they might be able to... Well, no. Zylos dynamite down straight away. Nothing is going to... Nothing's going to be diffused, I don't think, today. I think the NX side already set up with too many, too many positions for the uh, Axe side to defend this barrier. But you never know, you might get some kind of an ninja defuse as Zylos chooses to spawn right back at the start of the map. Squiz comes over to help cover the uh, cover the dynamite. And the Nordic side are now going to start pushing down this main road now. As Squiz takes a grenade out, throws it onto the uh, engineer who is attempting to defuse it, I think. And he's going to self-kill. Dynamite's going to blow and Mouse is going to escort this truck as far away as possible as the uh, Axis side push up onto the truck. Instead of going back to the backstage, Xylos double frag there. Stonish and Cresty going down to the uh, the Garand and Rifle Grenade there from Xylos. As the truck continues to move on forward with Squiz getting down by Grim at the last second. Ross is the man to keep moving the truck. Lightning surely going to take him down. Yes, he does. And now... Um, but it's going to be all futile because... Eight minutes from this phase. Yeah, it's kind it's of a impossible, unfortunately. Kind of a definite, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get on the uh, Justin TV web chat so I can see what people are saying. That's a good like. That's a good point. If you wanna, if you wanna give us any kind of, you know, amazing praise or uh, criticism for me's well, personally, getting knocked out in the groups, just jump into hashsage.lan on IRC. Yeah, I'm sat on the IC channel <laughs> stage of the LAN. I'm trying to get on Justin TV uh, on the, with the Chaos the Chaos TV stream and see the chat there, but I don't know if that's going to work or not. But I don't yeah. think it's going to work, to be completely honest with you, mate. I think I might go find out what's happening with G2P and uh, Wimpact while we wait for the next map. Yeah, you could do that. Go right. find out. Oh, Felix, do you know? Do you know the up most up-to-date score on the G2P versus Wimpact game? G2P are winning 2-0. First round. Well, Baggies is mad, 
Not only has Mies damaged him by punching him in the face, but uh, now they're losing to G2P, who have been gaming kind of who have kind of been not so perfect in the way they've been gaming at this event. Beating Winfact to perfection. More Beating like. Winfact to perfection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> solid Mies. I, by the way, that's the wrong bind, that mouse too. <laughs> it's not Weapol at all. I failed there with the bind. Just but, slash uh, Weapol then. Yeah, it's just Weapol. Without, with, even without slash, we just Weapol. We should bind it. I'll bind it now. <laughs> Save us flicking through people non-stop. We have time. Oh, these, the keyboard doesn't seem to like me. Let's see if that works. Douche! Yes, it does work. Nice little uh, flick on the camera there for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit wild. Squiz is 999, by the way. Not 100% sure why. But he is. Maybe he just accidentally rebooted his computer. <laughs> they they probably you did. laugh, but that happened to me you yesterday. Probably did. I went to a, I was plugging in a different microphone. Oh, yeah, and he tapped the button and it just and turns off. Yeah. Yeah, I had the same. It's so annoying. Oh yeah, Mies. Gold Rush, Nordic, and Axis. Who's your money on? Mm. Have you put money on Paddy Power? I haven't put any money on Paddy Power actually. If I had to, I was going I'd... to actually, but I thought no, I'd just be stupid and put too much money on the one team. I should have done. <laughs> I still won something from this land, but yeah, what can you do? What can you do, indeed? The match is going to go live now. Second map between the Nexus and Nordic Esports. Nordic are going to start off on the defence side this time. And uh, the last time I watched the Nexus play Goldrush, actually, on the uh, online finals, they, uh, they did a five-man rush moon, which I haven't seen done for a long time. But they're not going to do that today. Self-kills coming in for the Nordic side as we see the Nexus team push back through this side exit. Jay going to be the first man to come into contact as Lightning takes him out. Team damage there from Ross, and Ross is actually going to... Going on his own as Lazio takes him out with the rifle grenade and uh, Nordic managed to hold on again to the first stage, well, the first rush, which involved nothing but Ross doing team damage to Mies, to uh, Squiz again. Sorry, Mies. Well... I think mean, you should be apologising to Squiz at the moment. Sorry, Squiz. <laughs> I don't want to... don't want to... I don't want to confuse you in a, a group stage loser. That main rush you were talking about, and Lazio's going to do what he can, but it's not enough. They're going to get the revives in and get into that main corner. The rest of the team shooting now. Lightning picks up one with his MP40. Lazio picks up another with his K43 and they shut down that attack. But that was only Rapido. four though. There's still one more alive somewhere. Ah, here he is. Oh, his mouth He's getting he's smashed get... by Cresty at the main gate. <laughs> Squeeze gets another Thompson frag before they can get the gib on the mouse. And Squeeze trying, oh, Lightning with the Luger headshots there. Really great stuff. Cresty's going to get back into position to get his landmines back out towards the tank area. Grenades being exchanged at the doors. Stonis comes into contact with the ally side outside this main gate and he's going to come out on top. He seems to be winning the battle of the uh, the main gate with uh, Mouse, which is not something you see every day. Is he, uh, the players are being put onto the tank actually, but Xylos is going to get gibbed in the nick of time. Three frags there going down for Lazio. And uh, that was a bit of a scare for the Nordic side who seemed to be kind of on top until Xylos just decided to walk in through the main gate and put the players onto the tank. And they're going to come for another for main again. rush again, but he's not going to get it. His frag's coming in from Cresty, Great one and two. Cressy, but Mouse though. is going to take him out before he can do any more damage. He's going to get gibbed on a full spawn as well. Stonish picks off Mouse. And I think... Oh, flipping egg. Stonish is blazing. What's that? ChaosTV.nl. There you go. And uh, if you wanted to know, guys, you the guys on the stream can actually see this, but uh, ChaosTV.nl is the website for all this uh, the streaming going on at the Sage event. We've got Nordic on the defensive side now as Cressy sits on that tank, getting a couple of MP40 headshots off onto the people pushing on the back. Ross and Hyer are going to get a couple of frags here though, Stonish and Lightning finishing off them at the back. And I think, I don't know why Lightning's got a stupid name by the way, it's quite annoying. And there uh, we're going to see Ross with more Thompson action at the back. He's going to constantly get revived by Squeeze. I don't know how this revive train is still coming up, but he, uh, they're going to probably get stopped in the tracks by Cresty. No, they're not. Cresty's chosen the wrong side of the box to come round, and they, they managed to just put their players under no, the tank. Not. 
And that's going to be good by Nordic because I can't see an X is not killing all five of them here as they respawn. Coming out the first half, Stones with a couple of headshots there, but he's not going to take any more. Not going to pick off any more Anexus players after that rush. And now Ross is going to... What is happening there? Uh, I believe the tank is the zombie. And uh, is that's not cool. Despite being looking to be dead, is still actually moving. So, um. well, there we go. We've got an invincible tank, guys. I don't know how this is going to plan out, but the uh, next side are doing pretty good now. They uh, actually got stopped early on when they uh, started the map Goldish, which is their uh, their actual map pick, by the way. And uh, now it seems to be them being the ones in charge. The uh, tank. Finally does get damage. Cressy getting the frag off on the squiz. Mouse holding this position at the CP. Stonage in the way though, as always. Xylos with the rifle grenade there as he's uh, going to come into contact with Grim underneath that CP. Grim firing a couple of sten shots off Hunter Xylos oh, and he's probably going to go news. down. Flipping heck. Xylos domination on the stairs. Lightning getting the frag off under him though just before he does any more damage. And Mies, Nordic have really got to sharpen it because... Uh, since they get put, it seems like whenever they lose one objective, they seem to just constantly lose a string of objectives all in one go. Yeah, indeed. Like um, the uh, the flag, for example, on Bremen, they lose the flag, the, the flag, and then boom, the yeah, rest yeah, of the I match gone. they were getting into a good rhythm as well in the tank, indeed. especially against a team like a Nexus, who uh, I, I find, but especially playing online. And uh, Baggy has just said this when I was talking to him about their game. A Nexus are a side that uh, ooh, two big hill screen from the mouse <laughs> in the tank in Troy too. But he dives under the grenade of Grim. Oh, and headshots coming in from Grim, actually long distance. But yeah, it's um, a Nexus are a side that like they they get frustrated if like if they have like if they get stuck in a particular phase too long, they will definitely get frustrated. But they just couldn't be held long enough uh, by Nordic really frustration to kick in. Well, uh, just to bring you a bit of a score update, guys. Win Factor just lost four 0 to G2P, which is a uh, Again, something we didn't expect to happen. That's WinFact out of the competition. And uh, yeah, WinFact are gone for good now. They've got no more second chances. They've had it already. I am going to abuse Baggies via text. <laughs> <laughs> so now, with uh, nine and a half minutes left on the board, we're going to see a Nexus build the CP. Finally get that respawn point. And they're probably going to be in a, a good position to set a time on this map. Gordon's Cresty pushing out the first out, getting a lot of frags there for the Nordic side. An Nexus self kill and respawn. And now we're going to see them make their way up into this courtyard area. Grim with one MP40 frag there. Squiz replying, taking Grim out. But it looks like the Nexus side are in a, a good position to make an attack onto this bank stage. Zylos getting a couple of rifle grenades off onto this second arch. Rifle grenade pinged into Grim, but he's not going to get the frag. Grim's going to come up one better there. And Mouse is going to flip a neck. Deal with yeah. him with the Thompson headshots. Picks up four more bullets in the MP40. It takes a couple of health packs. He knows there's somebody at this first arch. Pistol whipping out Cresty. Ross is going to get the frag though. And High is going to be the man to jump with the documents all the way towards that truck. Xylos just respawned. And G2P, yep, yeah, have won 4 0 against Winfact. Everybody seems to be telling us now. Squiz with the Panzerfaust there. Lightning MP40 frag on a Ross, but the truck's not going to get stopped there. FFE put out all the way at the back of the. Uh, the back of the truck area. Not going to get the revive though. His mouse is going to self kill, respawn. Really good stuff there from the Belgian. And uh, the truck seems to be moving at a consistent rate as it gets started up again. Jay with that frag this time. Eight minutes, ten left on the board. FFE put out from the allied side. Stone is with an MP40 frag as well. But the truck continues to move on in the hands of Hire. It seems to be in a, a pretty good position to push this truck all the way back to the end. Uh, to the end phase. Me is dying That's slowly me. on the stream. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cold, I think. Which isn't cool. Oh. Oh. He's got a bit of a cold. Cold friend. That's why. <laughs> That's why, I don't know. I can't use that as an excuse. It's a terrible excuse. <laughs> That's why he lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, 725 set by a Nexus now. Uh, Lightning not having a Lazio. Oh dear, not Lazio. A good round. Oh dear. Oh dear. I definitely saw some uh, poor, poor shots from Lazio. But to be fair, Xylos has been missing a lot of rifle grenades as well. Like every, I see like every game my spec of Xylos at this line. Like I see rifles going to walls. <laughs> I mean, I love him, but 
I don't know how he's managing this. Some like really easy rifle is just going into walls or boxes and stuff, so I don't know. But this game Not the Xylos we know from old. This game's gonna go live now. Hello. What's that mean? Should be, yeah. Uh, hopefully. Well, yeah, either way. We're going back in live now with uh, an Nexus on the defensive side. Seven minutes is the amount of time the uh, the Nordics sort have of got to try and complete all the objectives in. And the uh, an Nexus side pushing out quite slowly with 10 seconds of respawn left on the clock. Mao's going to look to get the frag on the Lightning, who seems to be uh, comfortably sitting at these med packs. And Cresty actually making his way up the back as an engineer. He's going to get the players onto the tank. And oh, that could have been the dream start that Nordic Esports needed. Almost managed to get the players onto the tank, but Xylos just about stopped him. Uh, stopped him before he managed to get the build on it. Lazio and Stone Age pushing up through this side ex exit now. Maus with one MP40. Ross finishing off the next. Grim's going to come around the corner and probably get a, at least one frag. But I don't think the... Uh, what? I don't, I don't think the uh, Nordic side are going to be getting the, truck, the tank anytime soon, sorry. And uh, Are you using a Merc in your qualifier thing? Uh, yes, we are actually. We are um, Spot 16. Snoop is replaced with Overboost, I think. Because, Overboost? Um, yeah. Safe. Uh, it seems that Snoop has left <laughs> without saying anything. Snoop disappeared basically overnight. Yeah. And uh, we don't know where he's gone. So... He might be dead. It's the return of Dutch God Overboost. Yeah. Oh, As Cresty, Cresty now moves into takes, the main takes out here. a massive double kill. Lazio picking up two of his own. And this match could be happening now for them. Yeah, well, um, well, yeah, Nordic have finally got the tank. They've got six odd minutes left to get the uh, tank into position. So the barrier's just gone up. And they haven't put, well, kept on enough pressure. What can Stonage do? Not enough on his own. And Lightning coming in and now... A bit of a bait there from Lightning, actually. Uh, He's probably going to die on full spawn. He's actually going to run away and do nothing for the next couple of uh, couple of seconds. Yeah, it was definitely they're just going in one by one, which is sort of not what you need. It's the exact opposite of what you really need. You need to be going in as massive uh, groups, you know. Yeah, indeed. At least with two people, so you got uh, two too many two more guns than you were uh, originally needed. Saying that they do have a plan, but Ross is there and he's going to look to defuse it. There's nades on it now. They're, they're going to damage the tank, I think, yeah, first, the and then damage, they're going to go for the defuse. Go for the Can Ross make his way over now to the dynamite? And he's going to go, but he's going to get killed and by Grim and get gibbed as well, I think. Yes, he is. Xylos is going to go down as well. Can Maus save the day? No, Maus gets a kill, but has the self-kill. And Nordic are going to have the barrier with uh, 4 minutes 50 left. But because can they actually the build tank, They're going to go for a rebuild. Can they get a rebuild on the tank? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. And it looks like Stonage and, and Cresty sharing the 10 MG42. And Nexus are going to be nervous now. Yeah, they're going to have to be, uh, they're going to be very, very cautious now, the NX side. They're going to probably, as we were talking about earlier, fall right back into the bank. Two people are going to be put outside at this third It's, up, it's up to Stone Age though, could he, could he cut them off? Yes, he can cut off one, but he's going to get taken down. I think he got the gib on the rifle. Did he? Which is, yeah, he got the gib onto Xylos there. Well, yeah. Xylos is out full days. You just saw his dead body lying on the floor. That's going to be a really crucial mistake from the Italian there. He's going to be kicking himself for that. With 12 seconds of respawn left, I think, for the NX side. As they push out, get a lot of frags here. Those Squiz and Mouse going absolutely insane here on the base. Oh. Mouse finishing it off with a headshot. That is and good now to they're watch. Move that is back beautiful to Towards see. the back of the bank. And I think the Annexa side, even though they actually had one of their most crucial players chucked out on a full spawn, they've managed to, uh, they've managed to well, pick themselves back up and get themselves set up into position. Squiz getting the game off on the Grim there at the second arch. Three minutes, 30 left on the board. And it looks as if the NX side are going to set up at this uh, at this bank stage in the uh, in the bank actually for their uh, their final stage defence that we were just talking about, Moose. Yeah, it's uh, I was I was quite interested to see what kind of defence they go for. Really, I thought they might maybe like go for the outside one against Nordic, but they haven't. Um, they are. They've really had enough time to set up. I mean, they've done the. Uh, they've had to push out. They push the uh, ally side back quite a bit first. As Cresty gets a double frag there, Squid, along with Stonage, Squid, who was massively out of position, who was playing in that bank earlier. But uh, it looks like the Nexus have no trouble adapting. Or do they? Lazio now taking the gold. The Nexus respawn. They don't. It's not the good spawn time to go out first. So we're going to go out with the second. 
And uh, the rest of the team are going to back them up. This could have been a mistake because the Nordic side are pushing down now. And Lazio is going to make his move across. But that's a poor jump. He's stuck on the boxers. Stonehenge, though, with a revive. Absolutely sick play from Stonehenge this game. And now it looks like Nordic are actually going to get the goal to the truck. Lazio, Nordic gets taken down. But Cresty! Cresty comes in the revive, takes the goal into the truck. And it looks like Nordic are going to have this, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it actually does look as if Nordic are going to take this map. And I did not expect them to do that in a this million is years. Amazing play. All credit to them. They are we gonna, to, are uh, we gonna see an impact like defense now at the end of this uh, at the end of this map where Mies is actually playing in that game where he saved the day with an FFE frag here at the truck, stopping the truck just before it made its way up the hill against the rocket side at AEF. I think that was in the uh, the semi-final AF, or yes. something like that. Ross is calling the Ross well, is played, called well played. Uh it's definitely it looks over two minutes is and the truck's on the hill. There's no way uh, There's no way an Exodus is going to be able to stop this. This is absolutely amazing play from Nordic. <laughs> and uh, and I think Mies has been <laughs> shouted at by Toxic. It's yeah, not I'm, fun. I'm actually really good because this game is just getting amazing. And it looks like I have to go set up my computer to play in the Constellation tournament. So, I reckon he's just set it up for him. Yeah, you have one minute. Yeah. One minute. No, we've got 20 seconds. Uh, no. Who? Really fuck. Oh god. <laughs> I've already, I, I've go already, get Baggy some stick. I already text Baggies. Go get Baggy some stick, I reckon. <laughs> I really want to see this decider though. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh! Tox! Set his PC up for him. Set the PC up for him. Go on. You're a professional. To be fair, I don't know. I don't know when it's scheduled to start. We could just try and delay it for the sake of me watching this game. Delay it. That's a good idea. <laughs> just delay it. Do you it. have the authority to do that? Yes. <laughs> no, I don't, but I'm saying I do. We'll just pretend there was some problem. Yeah. Either way. Barrel problems. <laughs> That'll do. Mouse is absolutely sick, by the way. 5k damage. By far the highest on his team. Cresty, it, the, uh, it just wasn't enough. Cresty's being the, the man to do it on the other side as well now. Christy and Lightning, actually. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, are you pretty un unhappy about Lightning playing no, for not Nordic? As in, uh, not being for your team? No, no, I'm not unhappy. Dude's playing well. Like, this is... These guys, like, honestly, it's like the winner bracket semi-final. I'm just happy for him. Like, I can't really say anything negative about it. We did, as a team, we did a dickish thing of, like, kicking him. And uh, it wasn't very nice, but... Uh, no, it wasn't very nice. That's correct. Obviously. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, it wasn't me. <laughs> but um, Jerry, do you want to come on the stream with me? Because Mies has got to go play his game, so you can do the final round between Nordic and Nexus with me. I reckon everybody would love to see a bit of Jerry, seeing as he's all happy after winning. I don't want to. He's go got play. minimum a third. Mies doesn't want to go and play. It's want to be pro, man. <laughs> <laughs> Supply out. That's a good thing. It means that we might actually get to see. Frostbite. No, no frostbite. Oh, it could be. It could, could actually be frostbite. Be. It could actually be a really exciting game. Oh, no way. It could be probably the best. I gotta stay for if it's frostbite, I'm staying. Could I'm be frostbite staying. or Bremen. No, it could be frostbite or um. Yeah, what's it called? I've gone blank. Supplies out. Adler's out. Read press console. Radar. Frostbite or Radar is the last map. Ooh. <laughs> they took, Nordic took Radar against us and uh, were pretty good at it. But I don't know if they can do what they did to us I against reckon the they're gonna take. I reckon they're going to take Frostbite. Depends if they panic or not. Why not? Hmm? I reckon why not? I reckon that that's probably going to be... Um, I don't know. I think Radar might be the sensible choice. Because like, they took it against us and they were like worried about us. So if they Yeah, but you've got to bear in mind that Anexus is sick. You can tell they're taking a lot of time, like they don't think this is an easy decision. Like they could yeah. go frostbite and hope to get like a strong catch them off guard, get a really strong quick attack. Or, exactly. or maybe or kind of chance try and go uh try and be confident in themselves and like play a confident round of radar. Yeah. I mean radar, probably one of the best maps in e if not the best map in ET. And uh consisting of two document runs you gotta do at the end, which is uh the most exciting part of the map. But Frostbite can also create excitement at the end of the map, as uh, as Mies well knows. As from I'm CIC sure, yeah, 7 I'm final. Sure everyone is aware. 
um, of when he took the documents all into the a, way into a wall. And they're or a picking door. Raider. They actually hey, I told the balls you. Balls are going out here. Yeah, then. The balls are out all over the place, and they're picking Raider, <laughs> slapping him down on these desks. This is. Yeah, this is definitely I reckon this worked. is an Exorcist map. I can't uh, see Nordic beating an Exorcist on this map. I think they could. If they keep up the moment. Yeah, but then again, they usually beat them on Gold Rush. And Gold Rush is like. Really That's good, a good for point. Nexus. That's a very good point. I'm starving. <laughs> should have had a stoop waffle. <laughs> I offered you a stoop waffle. I should have had a stroke waffle, yeah. Yeah. Well, my mistake. You can give me one after. Oh, they all gone now. There's Perfo walking away. Perfo! Perfo! Oh god, Perfo completely ignoring us. <laughs> he does not look happy. Oh god. <laughs> the wind fat guys are mad. <laughs> and Jerry for once. Jerry, who is sat there by the way, is loving this because uh, for once he hasn't, he hasn't actually finished fifth at Alan. Or actually at the tournament. He's chuffed a bit to that, I can tell. Oh well, we're just gonna wait for the uh, wait for the guy.